welcome back to another video on Farmer Against Potatoes. So I wanted to make another video on this because uh, first off, I've gotten way further than I was before and second off, I kind of wanted to go through and kind of explain more stuff to the game and kind of like if anyone does like it, I kind of give them a little bit of a walkthrough and a little bit of a guide on how to kind of get further. So um, one big thing that um, is essential to this game is uh, basically when you're going through the stages, which is this uh, little like red marker thing. So when you click on a stage, um, you can see like what you've cleared it on easy, medium, I've unlocked medium and everything. Um, but you can actually see what the item rating is. Uh, so like if I click on easy, it will tell me items max rating. So that's the max rating that you're going to get for the gear or armor. And then when you click on medium, it'll show you what that one is. So right now I'm farming three of uh, three, five. So I'm pretty far and that's on medium. So my gear that I'm getting currently is 152,000. That is the max rated gear that I can get. So as you see, this one's only 91, but that's because it is tier 6. I'm wearing basically full tier uh, 8. As you see, I do not have that good of gear. Like my shield needs to be upgraded massively. Um, my armor I just got a new of, and my sword. Um, as you see, the gloves and helmets here, these are really good. So this is one thing that you need to do is constantly upgrading your gear. Um, and if you're going to do that, my best choice for you, honestly, is to go through as, um, what's this one? Uh, yeah, see, increases drop chance and drop cap max. So basically putting on this class, which is called Freeloader, this class basically just... It boosts you through the game, especially getting gear. Your gear is a very major thing to help you out at the start, especially getting a little bit of the progression. Then once you unlock the worms, in my opinion, to start grinding the worms and getting further on it and everything, like, because as you see, I make a lot of larva. So, like, I grind through that stuff, like, really, really, really fast. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to show you. So I got it down to 1%. And that's because of this right here. So once you get to whatever level this is for, I think it was like 250 or something like that, but I could be wrong. Um, and then it goes up by 0.1% each time, um, which is really nice because now it's out 1%. So one in a hundred chance. And if you get super unlucky, they give you one at 250. And that's every time this bar completes. Worms, I have a 0.1485% chance, which is around around 1 in a 1,000, something like that. It's a little bit better than 1 in 1,000. I think it's almost 1, one in 750 or something like that. So I get a lot of worms as well, and I'm also getting 120 worms. Because on, I think it was in this one as well, yeah, right here, um, in medium, you get double worms dropped. Also, there's like challenges and stuff. Keeping up on these challenges and trying to do them as much as you can, they give a lot of beneficial rewards. There's also special rewards that you probably didn't realize. Cow price minus 50% and worms dropped times two. So now I get even more worms dropped. So finishing these trophies and keeping on top of them, they will keep you grinding. Grinding through this and honestly leaving the game going for a day to get an even bigger reincarnation reward and everything. That's another thing. Like I've been on this run for two days. That's because I haven't been really on the game much. I would say, as I said before, like five hours is pretty good. If you want to leave it for a full day and grind it, then you can. But as you see, my character levels are around like 5,000 now. I still have some that I need to get up. Like this one's only 3,000. But honestly, like, and the skill tree doesn't matter. So basically, if you want to farm worms, you want to try to go for this one. It's like the little, um, it's like a worm, and it kind of looks like he has a shell on his back. 
Increase the chance to find worms when killing potatoes by 10%. You get it five times, it's 50. You keep getting that, and then if you also get this one, increase number of worms dropped. You don't really have to get that because it doesn't boost it enough. Um, and then if you want to do reincarnation runs, getting the reincarnation experience is really good. And also increase the drop in bonus chance by 25%. That's for gear. So if you're farming gear, that's another thing that you can grab. So just keeping an eye out on each thing um, when you're doing runs. Like if you're trying to do a gear run, getting a lot of these chests will boost your chance. And it will literally skyrocket your gear. Um... If you're trying to go for a super far progress, um, the character I suggest using for that is probably Smasher or the crit one. The crit one is kind of okay, but it kind of falls off late game because of how much crit you actually need. So I do say Smasher is the best one, especially because of his perk. Um, let's see if I can kind of go check out his perk right now. His perks honestly amazing uh okay where is the perks the perks are right here these stars so if i click on this and killing an enemy increases damage by five percent for the next attack if you basically keep killing an enemy it keeps it on permanently and it literally so basically every time you kill it will keep that damage increase now i don't know if you kill like 10 at a time if it 10 times the stack or whatever but when you because you can buy it i think it's is it one time or three times i think it might only be yeah i think it's only once but there's two of these nodes so instead of five percent you can get it to ten and honestly it's just it's just beneficial especially for pushing and then also if you're pushing try to grab like the the swords crossed I'm trying to find them right now. Here we go. There's one. Uh, fighting efficiency by 10% and also getting um, the weights, which are back here at the beginning. If you get these weights right here, that increases your strength. And also running around basically the entire map, getting your attributes increased. So that's what basically I did here. I have like every attribute grabbed on the map just, just to give you that further progression so that you can get further on this. That's another thing to keep your eye on. I, there's like so much stuff to this game, especially once you get further. Um, and then you'll unlock cows. I'm at 24. Um, basically, as you see, the price of cows will start going up and up and up more and more and more. There's things to reduce the cost of them. Um, I've maxed everything out here for calcium wise. And then I have these as well. I'm still waiting for the first ascension, which I'm almost there. I'm getting there. Um, these will start getting easier and easier and easier as you grind and go through it. But honestly, I really like this game. I, I like this is probably one of my favorites. Just grinding through it. So if there's any like questions that you guys have or anything that you want to also know about, I could easily try to answer it or find something to it. But honestly, this is like the best the best way to do it. Basically, just constantly go through. And get as much stuff as you can. I'd say that's your best bet. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.